Hello friends, this is Mr. Singh, MBC Tech. Uh, so friends, uh, in this video today we discuss about how to use the Entity Framework Database First Approach in ASP.NET. So this is our uh, the base topic. So the in this video we will cover up some the some subtopic like uh, how to install entity framework uh, using NuGet command line and how to use ASP.NET edu.net entity uh, data model and how to create the edmx data file uh, the mbc5 controller with views using entity framework like even we can see the scaffolding the insert update and delete the all uh, thread will be covered uh, by using asp.net c sharp so let's start uh, we going to open my visual studio uh, right now i have used the visual studio 2013 i have already created one demo project the asp.net uh, empty project okay so there is uh, no entity framework so first we have to install the entity framework by using new get commands so go to google and search which is latest version you can install but right now I have you just entity paper 6.0 version so you go to the tools you get package manager Select here your DLF web app TU and enter. So our entity framework is installing successfully, it's installed. So now the second thing we have created a uh, edu.net entity data model class in a model we are going to create new item data edu.net entity data model as per your you may add your any simple name model edu okay so we just add we have already created the one database for tutorial the same database we will use in this project so there i have created the web app tu okay if you don't know how to create the database simply you can go to database I have used the SQL Server 2008 and uh, create new database and wizard is coming and enter your database name and ok ok right now I have already created my database so go to table and create a new table if you want to use new table but I have already just two table in this table I have already ID name and address fields okay so uh, we go to back my visual studio and choose the ef designer from database okay so next new connection Mm -hmm. 
choose your database check permission actually i have uh, used the window authentication but if you want to use sql authentication you may add username and password save password password okay. okay then include case and save data no so yes yes sorry yes uh, as per your need you may uh, add a new class name but i have used this one so press next store table select store table and then finish so it's centered it is the design the all classes are automatically created here so right now i'm going to build project so now i have create a scaffolding so this new controller choose the mvc controller with views and empty framework so add the class store table the db context choose your db context if you want to use the sync controller then check here otherwise not the generate view the reference of script library no need no need for layout so enter your control room home right. when we uh, choose the scaffolding it is automatically created your uh, crud base crud scripts like insert update delete and selection so this is for selection this is detail page this is for create this is for edit page view and edit hit delete view and delete it so it's automatically generate the all views so right now the next thing we have set the route the route is automatically by default set the so if uh, we uh, if we create a new controller the like named as student then we have uh, add uh, there a student and the index number by default was called so right now we use uh, the home controller so just we build and run this project yes run this project so this is our index space okay so if, because i have uh, have a already data in my database so that's uh, shown so if we create a so this, this if you create new data like create new so this is created if you want to edit this one in here okay if you want to see detail you have to add and if you want to delete delete okay so uh, this is uh, the basic uh, the database first approach so thanks for uh, watching uh, this video if you really like this video then uh, subscribe to my mvc tech channel and my video and write any comment uh, for uh, uh,
new video where you have some issue in no further we have created that video